for there and welcome to my channel please like and subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for getting quick notification while uploading new tutorial okay so in current tutorial we will talk about how to analysis of continuous beam okay so I will go to etab software here and we'll click the new model okay new model so this model analyzation will pop up afterward you was built in sitting with okay so you used matrix under international and also still section database for the latest version okay so and still code 2616 and American Computer Institute 318 2019 as a concrete design code okay so and press ok so after that the number of grid lines in x directions will be 4 and in y direction it will be 1 ok so and x and y will be the same spacing okay the number of stories will be one story okay and the typical height is 3.5 and also 2.5 okay so i will use custom grid space and i will edit grid data okay so here i will use spacing it is 3 meter okay and also 4 meter and 4.5 meter okay and press ok and also press ok look here so I will go here to the elevation view Okay, so I will create here the continuous beam. Okay, now I will go here to the define material properties. Okay, so add new material here the United States concrete. Okay, and also 4000 psi. Okay, and I will change the name 4000 psi ok so and other specifications I will do not change ok so here I will do not change anything afterward ok so and will modify this one reinforce concrete or rebar modify show material ok I will give this one as a river and I will do not change the unit weight and other specifications and ok so I will give us this predefined ok reinforcement and 4000 psi as a material ok this is the concrete material and other one this one is 60 psi is also the reinforcement material afterward I will press ok now here I will go to define section properties frame section ok so I will delete multiple properties here which I do not need ok I will add a new property ok rectangular here so it will be beam and also material will be 4000 psi and here the depth will be 350 by 220 okay so and modify show river here I will change to the beam here and I will choose the river materials and also I will change here the cover length will be 250 or 25 mm and 25 mm 
millimeter. Okay, and I will change modifiers. Will be 0.35 and also 0.35. Okay, and press OK. So I have defined the beam. No need. I will delete that one. Okay. So now I I will draw here the beam. Look here. I will come here. Select. Select here the beam. Okay. So and it is we have one story. Okay. Select here and press here. Also, you can just go to press this one, which is more quicker as compared to previous one. I will just select here and or just press here and here. Okay, so the beams have been drawn. If you want to see, just press this one. Sorry, this one extrude. So, if you want to see, just press this one. Press this one, okay. Extrude view. Look here, the beam has been drawn. Okay, the seam is in 3D view. Okay, okay. So the invisible the grid okay so and I will look here so now I will select here this node and this one and I will change it is it is supports okay I will come here and restrain assign joint restraints I will fix it okay this two supports have been fixed okay and this two support i will make as a hinge or pin supports okay here apply okay so now i will select this beam here and i will go to assign okay frame load distributed okay so i will choose here 15 kilonewton by meter apply okay look here the 15 kiloton load has been applied okay in this beam now i will check on this beam i will apply here point load i will go to assign okay frame load okay point load i will apply here and 0.25 distance as a 20 kiloton and in 0.75 distance as also 20 km okay apply okay look here the 20 km load has been applied okay on in this way and also i will apply here the uniform varying load here in this beam i will go here assign so the frame load here the distributed and i will change here the distance okay to 0 and also 0 0.33 and here 0 0.66 and 1 okay so afterward i will apply here 0 10 kN by meter and also here 20 kN by meter and 30 kilonewton by meter okay i will just make it zero and i will press apply okay so look here the uniform wearing load has been applied in this beam the point load has been applied in this beam portions and the uniform distribution load has been applied in this portions okay so this is a continuous beam with different loads and okay and these two supports are fixed and other two supports are, are hinged okay so now i have completed the load to be applied and afterward i will go here to run analysis okay and before running the analysis i will set the structure okay i will go here check the model 
okay and select all okay so it will check the model where whether it is okay or not okay so model has been checked no warning message was generated okay so the model is correct afterward I will go here analysis I will just press run analysis okay before running I will save it okay analysis of continuous B okay so I will save it and will start running and will start an analysis Okay, done. So this is the default shape of the beam. Okay, so you, you can look here to the extrude as well. Okay, now I will go to here, display frame scan draw. I will check here the moment of the continuous beam. Okay, so Okay, this is the moment if you want to just change it is scale factor okay so this is the bending moment of this continuous beam okay so here shear to two okay automatic so this is the shear force okay apply okay this is the shear force so if you want to change it is scale factor increase to one one okay so this is the shear force diagram and then for moment this is the moment okay moment diagram okay thank you so much it was all about how to model a continuous beam and apply the load with different supports I hope this lecture will help you and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a great time.